shadow or which we call a shadow okay so for a shadow to be formed we need three conditions source of light an opaque object and an opaque screen light from a source gives out some rays whenever we keep an opaque object in the path of that light a dark area is formed behind which is known as a shadow if you do not have a source of light there will be no shadow if you do not have an opaque object also there will be no shadow and if you do not have a screen where you can capture the dark area you will not have a shadow that is why aeroplanes and birds flying high in the sky they have no screen that's why we cannot see the shadow of birds flying very high in the sky characteristics of shadow a shadow is always a dark area you cannot see the color of the shadow there is no color it's always dark whether the object is in any color the shadow will always be dark a shadow may or may not look like the actual object for example sometimes the shadow will resemble the object but sometimes it will just be a dark patch okay the size of the shadow it depends on the distance of the source of light and the screen if you take the object near to the source of light the shadow will be bigger but if you take it farther away from the source of light the shadow will be smaller and a shadow can only be formed on the screen if you do not have a screen there will be no shadow for your homework children i want you all to draw the figures on page number 69